Hi guys, so obviously um, a change has occurred. My hair is now pink and if you guys don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram um, then you won't know that my hair was pink. On camera it literally looks bright pink. In real life it's so much more of a dusky pink. Like if you look at the picture on my Instagram, that's more of the colour. But on camera, I've tried to play around with the lighting, it looks so much more like ready pink. I think it could be because I do have new lights. So let me know what the lighting situation kind of is like. I feel like these ones, um, I need to get some kind of diffusers for them because they're so bright that one, every time I look at them, I'm kind of blinded. And two, that's four. And two, um, I feel like they cast a bit more like shadows on my face. And I don't really know if my old ones did that, I can't remember. Um, I don't really know. Just let me know what you think down below. So if the lighting of this video isn't perfect, then I apologize. Um, but if you do want to see a whole video about my new hair and my hair transformation and what I've had done and like filming the process and stuff like that then I have got a vlog that is going up on my channel um on my second channel which is Sophie Does Vlogs after this video so while you're watching this video I will most likely be editing the vlog because I'm gonna try and get my main channel video up first and then I'll post the vlog on my second channel of like the whole process and everything um but yeah obviously as I've just had it done like it's uh pretty bright and it will fade over time and it will go back to blonde and at some point I'm sure it will end up with grey hair again but for now my hair's pink. So I did actually have something else planned for today's video. Um, I did an order on Superdrug like quite a few days ago now and it's still not here and basically the stuff that I ordered from Superdrug I was supposed to feature in Wednesday's haul and I also wanted to use some of the stuff in today's video. I thought I would do my top 10 drugstore mascaras video because I did mention recently in the top concealers video that I did that I would do one for mascaras and I will link all of them down below as well so you guys can go and like shop them and then the ones that a couple of these you might not be able to get online because I think they're out of stock but you can get them in stores and stuff. I believe these are all under £10 and honestly, in terms of mascaras, I prefer drugstore mascaras. Like, yes, there are some really good um, high-end mascaras, but drugstore mascaras in general are pretty damn good. I'm gonna kind of do my favourite ones first, but all of the favourite ones I kind of like equally, like the top kind of five I like equally. Um, so the first one is the one that I wear all the time, this one is actually now empty, so I really need to get a new one. Um, well, it's not empty, but it's kind of, you know, when they get really dry and you can't really use them that well. This one is the Maybelline Big Shot Colossal Volume Express Mascara. And I'm pretty sure I've used this in loads of tutorials on this channel. Um, I love this so much. I don't really like the packaging because it's quite bulky and it's a bit like, I don't know, gold and purple is a bit, mm, not really my favourite, but you know what, who cares, it's a mascara. The brush is a, not a plastic brush, it's just like synthetic bristles, and they're quite short little bristles, um, so what I really like about this is you can really get close up to your lash line with this, because the bristles aren't gonna like stab you in the eye, because they're not like huge bristles, and you can really wiggle it at your lower lash line to get a lot of volume, and this mascara is so good for volume, I don't find that it like smudges or anything throughout the day. I am quite lucky that I have been blessed with with long natural eyelashes. Um, my eyelashes are really long naturally. They are blonde, um, but when I put mascara on, um, they look super long. I have a lot of mascaras and a lot of different makeup, um, and so when I actually use something up, that's when you know that I like it. Um, so yeah, I love this mascara. The next mascara that I absolutely love, and again, this one is almost pretty much empty. This is the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic Mascara. I think in the US it's just called L'Oreal something else paradise it's got a different name um but i love this so much this is 9.99 i believe um the packaging is pretty simple it's just got like a rose gold tube and a rose gold lid yeah this is so so good at like opening up your eyes i find that it this one is really really lengthening it's not as volumizing as the maybelline one but this one is less clumpy so if you don't like as much volume and you just kind of want like an all-round good mascara that's going to lengthen your lashes and kind of like flick them outwards. Um, I do have a whole video review on this so if you want to see what it looks like on my lashes then check that out um, but it's so good and the brush of this I think is supposed to be a dupe of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Again this one is like natural kind of bristle brushes it's not a plastic one. I just find that the bristle brushes kind of grip more to my lashes so I can get more volume. Also if you're wondering how I apply my mascara and how I get my lashes so like big 
<laughs> then I do have a video on like how I apply my mascara and like my tips and tricks and stuff to get like fat lashes because that is what I like. Number three is another mascara which yet again I have pretty much used up. This was my favourite for the longest time, it's still one of my favourite mascaras of all time. This is the L'Oreal Miss Baby Roll Mascara. I don't think you can get this in the US. I've just realised there's a mascara that I haven't mentioned in this video. A mascara from the US that I love is the CoverGirl Total Tease Mascara. That mascara is so good. But anyway, this one is by L'Oreal. It's got such a unique brush. It's kind of like a spiral. And the bristles on this are really, really short. Um, and it's like in a spiral thing. And this one is actually plastic bristles, which... Um, I know that I said I preferred the other ones, but somehow this mascara just works so well. It really grips your lashes, it's really like separating, lengthening, um, it kind of like brushes out the clumps, but I also get a lot of volume, like, it's just such a great mascara. I also like the waterproof one as well. I wore this at Centre Parks and it worked really well. The next one is one that I'm wearing right now, I thought I would talk about it. Um, this isn't technically drugstore, but it's kind of like drugstore price, because I still think this is under £10. I think this is like £8.90 or something, Kiko always do really weird prices. Um, um, if you don't have a Kiko store near you, they do have a website, uh, oh, but I think this is out of stock on the website, which really sucks. Um, anyway, this is the Kiko Into the Dark Mascara, and okay, this is not going to be for everyone. This is the mascara that I'm wearing now. I do find that on me, it makes my lashes so, so voluminous and like, fat. It's a very, very thick mascara which isn't going to appeal to everyone and I think if you have short lashes this might not really do you any favours, I'm sorry, um, but like it's quite clumpy. I know that a lot of people are not going to like a clumpy and thick mascara um, but I actually quite like them because I just kind of use my fingers to press out the clumps and then I find that this mascara just gives me so much volume but you kind of have to work with it. Every mascara I've ever tried by Kiko has been really really good, like they know how to do mascaras Speaking of that, another one of my favourites, I'm just going to briefly brush past this because I don't think you can get it online anymore either. They might still have some in stores, I don't really know. This is the Mini Divas Mascara and I discovered this when I tested out, they had like a miniature makeup line. Basically, if you type in on YouTube, Soph does nails and then whichever mascara I've just spoken about, like um, Maybelline Big Shot, then it will probably come up with a video where I've like talked about it and applied it, so that might help. Like, it looks so basic, but somehow it just works. And if there's a mascara where, like, I, I just want something to throw in my bag and put on, and I know that it's gonna work and give me no problems and just give me really nice, full, long lashes, then it is this one. The next one is another one by L'Oreal. I have to say, they do some really great mascaras. This is the Mega Volume Miss Hippie Mascara, and this is along the kind of same sort of range. They have loads of mascaras that, like, Miss Manga, Miss Baby Roll, Miss Hippie, I don't really know why, it's a bit weird, um, but the Miss Hippie Mascara is great. This is another one that's got um, bristly brushes. Um, I just find this one is really, really good for volume. I remember Emma spoke about this, which is why I went ahead and bought it. It's not my favourite mascara ever, like I definitely prefer the other L'Oreal ones that I spoke about. But if you're looking for a mascara that's just going to be like an affordable one, because I think that this is, most of the time I see this is like on offer. Um, and if you want one that's going to give you really nice volume, then I would just recommend it. Like it's just a good mascara. It just works. The next one is probably the cheapest that I'm going to talk about in this video. I'm not too sure if they still stock this, but I really hope they do. This is the Miss Sporty 100% Rock Pump Up Booster Mascara, which is the longest name for a mascara. Why is that necessary? Anyway, I think this one is $3.99. And oh my good gosh, Miss Sporty did so well on this mascara. It's one of those brushes that kind of like goes, it's like a this short of shape, like an hourglass shape, if that makes any kind of sense. But it just gives really nice volume, really nice length. It grips your lashes really nicely. I don't really know why it's got this weird dip in the middle, but it works. Whatever they've done, it works. The next mascara that I want to talk about, I only have the waterproof version at the moment, but I did used to have the non-waterproof version. Funnily enough, I don't really like the waterproof version that much. I don't really know why. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Lash Multiplying Mascara. And um, this is such a classic. I don't need to talk about it too much. It's kind of like a dupe for Benefit Roll Lash. Um, it's got this weird, really weird brush actually. Like, it's kind of like a curve and it's got longer plastic bristles on one side. Yeah, this one is plastic by the way. And then the other bristles are just really, really short. But what I like about this, because the bristles are so short on one side, you can really get close to your lash line and like 
do a little wiggle. It's also very like separating. I don't find this one clumpy at all. The final mascara I don't have, but I put this one out to remind me to talk about it. Um, it's by Max Factor. The mascara that I used to love is the Max Factor Masterpiece Max Mascara. That has also got like plastic bristles, but they're quite short. And I just found that one again, like if I was looking for a mascara that I just knew would make my lashes look so long and just like separated and not clumpy, then I would always go for my Max Factor Masterpiece Max. But I have um, run out of it and I haven't actually repurchased it just because I have so many other mascaras to like get through and use up. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for one that um, it's probably better like if you aren't that big on volume but you want something that's still gonna like make your lashes look really long and your eyes look really like wide open. How many times have I done this in this video? Just in case you wanted a little close up of my lashes today, this is what they're looking like. So that is it from me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know it hasn't been the most exciting, um, but I thought you guys might find it helpful if you're looking for a new mascara. If you want to see my hair transformation video, the vlog should be up later on this evening on my second channel. Um, my second channel is always linked down below. Let me know what you think of my new lighting. I don't really know if I like it or that I'm going to change back to the other one. I don't even know. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And yeah, that's it from me. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.